Welcome to a video entitled Configuring Printer Pooling. Now in this video I want to show you how we can create a printer pool and I talked about this quite a bit in a video that was entitled Printer Pooling. So if you haven't seen that you may want to go take a look at it. It's kind of the chalk talk for what we're doing right here. Now what I want you to notice is I'm in the Print Management tool. How did I get here? I went into Administrative Tools and then I looked for the Print Management tool, double clicked that, and it brought me into the Print Management tool. Now I want you to notice something here. I have two Brother Laser printers already installed. How did I install these? I just simply went to Printers, right clicked, did Add Printer, chose the port that I was adding it on, went through the steps, just like always, to add a printer. Now I added the Brother Laser, and I'll just double click it and go to Ports, and you'll notice that it is on USB 1. This is a virtual printer port, don't worry about that. Just notice it's on USB 1. Then on Brother Laser 2, I'll double click that one, go to Ports, notice it's on a COM1 serial port. So both of these printers are here, and I want to pull these two printers. So notice that I'm going to go to the Brother Laser 1 first. I'm going to right click and go to Properties. Now on that Properties dialog box for that printer, you'll notice I'll go to the Ports tab. And right down here at the bottom, notice I have automatically checked USB 1 because that's where that printer is set up. I will come down here and enable printer pooling. Now since this one was already checked, that is where the prints are automatically going to go first if everybody's idle. And that's my fastest, most efficient printer, so that's just the way I want it. Now I want to add the Brother Laser 2 into this print pool, and so I will just choose that. And notice at this point now, I have created a printer pool. And when I click OK, if it doesn't give me an error message, now everybody who sends a print to the Brother Laser is actually sending it to a printer pool. And it will kind of bounce back and forth. It'll send them all to this, but if this machine's busy, it will jump over to here. Don't worry about it being offline. I had to unplug it to run the video here, so don't let that throw you. But it's just that simple to set up a printer pool and it can really help you, but for the purposes of the exam, make sure this makes sense to you. Make sure you know how to set it up, but more importantly, make sure you understand what a printer pool is, when you would use it, and look for those scenarios to be thrown at you. On the exam, should be pretty easy to pick your way through these and find the correct answer.